Hello everyone. I am Dr. Shireen Pandey and uh, I am the head of department in the retina department uh, of uh, Indira Gandhi Eye Hospital. We are based in Lucknow and uh, we have other centers at Amici and Gurgaon as well. We are a group of charitable hospitals which is run under Rajiv Gandhi Trust. So basically we are a, a tertiary care center and we are handling a lot of uh, patient crowd in this area. So today I'll be uh, talking about the age related macular degeneration. As you all know, we are celebrating the age related macular degeneration awareness month, uh, which is being uh, done by CIPLA. So I'll be speaking on behalf of that. Uh, now, uh, in a layman term, if you tell me, if you ask me what is age related macular degeneration, so I would say it is uh, simply called as, it is more commonly called as Umra Sambhandi macular degeneration. So now what is macula? Macula is basically that part of retina which is uh, responsible for the best vision in our eyes. So with age, it undergoes certain changes. Uh, speaking in a, lay form, a layman form, I can say that you can uh, spot certain areas of your uh, vision which is not visible that clearly. These appears as dark spots in, in front of your vision which might increase or which might remain stationary and uh, this requires a retina person uh, to see you and to diagnose and treat you. So basically if we talk about the disease per se, it is of two types. One is the dry age related macular degeneration and the other is the wet kind of age related macular degeneration. So the dry kind uh, is basically more of a degenerative form and uh, not much has been done for the treatment. Yes, we as present whatever we have is to control this disease. The other form is the wet form in which we are making some treatment breakthroughs in the form of intravitreal injections. Now these intravitreal injections basically help you in preserving your vision and maintaining your vision for a long time. It does not mean that your disease is eradicated or it is gone. It just gives you a stable vision for a longer duration of time. So what we propose when we diagnose a patient with a wet age related macular degeneration is basically a loading dose of three injections followed by a visit to your doctor first monthly and then bi-monthly and then as and when your uh, disease is stable, your physician might ask you to come in a longer duration. But as and when it shows any progression, your doctor will definitely advise you a boost up injection. So the first three loading doses of the injection doesn't mean that your disease is gone or it is eradicated. It only means that it is reached to that level of stabilization after which your vision will be stable for a longer duration but you have to maintain your visits to the hospital. Now if we talk about the long-term implications, if you are diagnosed early and you are maintained on these injections, you tend to have a stable vision for a longer duration of time. But yes, as we know, if we talk about statistics, one of uh, every three blind persons resides in India. So we have, we still have a very huge backlog of patients. And uh, if we talk of other uh, statistics, one of every eight blind persons is blind because of this disease. So it is very much underdiagnosed and undertreated at present. But yes, if we are much more aware then definitely we can do something about these patients who can be treated and who can lead a better quality of life. Central vision might be deteriorate, uh, might deteriorate in some of these visions and we cannot help these patients beyond a certain point once the scarring sets in. But yes, still these patients need treatment if they, there is a peripheral involvement. Now, bi peripheral involvement is important and it should be treated 
you have to understand this that though the central vision will not recover the peripheral part of vision is important for us for many daily activities like walking down the stairs climbing up the stairs or crossing a road so whatever form it is central or peripheral of this disease has to be treated it is it should not be ignored in any patient if we talk about the dry amd which i was talking earlier the degenerative form if you are diagnosed with that the patient the doctor will prescribe you some multivitamins which help basically in somewhat clearing of your symptoms somewhat help your symptoms but still you have to go ahead with a regular visit to the doctor because these kind of patients might progress to the wet form and might need injections if they are diagnosed early they can be treated early and their visions can be maintained for a longer duration of time so if you have those black spots and your age is above 60 this is the time that you should go to your retina person and get your dilated fundus examination done i think if you are uh, much more vigilant and much more aware then definitely this is not something which should we should worry about and definitely now we are progressing towards a good treatment we have so many injections in the market which are giving very good results so there is nothing to be disheartened once you are diagnosed and once you maintain your treatment you will definitely have a good quality of life for good many years that is all thank you